Ah, soon as now. It's time. Hello. So, uh, it's been a little while since the last time I did, did this game. Um, more specifically, uh, this is another uh, Patreon request stream by a good friend of the show, Squirrel Token, who said, hey, you should try out the Frost Ring Arena. And I don't know what that is. So we're going to be doing that. But I have my own side goal. Um, oh, that's going to be way too loud. Whatever. I personally have my own side goal of getting up to 30,000 gold if possible. But yeah, so this is a Patreon request stream. You can find my Patreon at patreon.com slash nine, And that's... The last that you'll hear until the end, where I do the same spiel a second time, because that's how we do things. But yeah, uh, Hex. If you aren't familiar with the last couple times I've streamed Hex, it's close to Eternal. If you haven't seen Eternal, it's close to Magic. If you haven't seen Magic, um, it's a card game, but this one's digital. You play resources and play car use those resources to play cards from your hand of cards that you draw. Anyway, so uh, we'll be doing the Frost Arena at some point here, because that's the whole point of this. But I'm actually going to start with the campaign, because I actually want to go back in here. So Murphy, our, our good old, uh, our friend Murphy, is uh, doing good. Uh, my account, I guess, is doing alright too. Well, let's go ahead and jump on in on Murphy. <laughs> all right so murphy here from the last time we saw him hasn't changed too much though my collection of cards has grown more and the deck has gotten much more streamlined i actually need to streamline it a little more actually now that i think about it because i received a a couple cards from a friend uh so i will slot here uh, let me go ahead and add that. I specifically need to add in the other Cerebral Jack. It should be... Here we go. New. And... Let's go into Equipment. Filter by Usable. Show for your current deck. Alright, so I would have to give up... No, oh, nothing. Uh, chest is free. So, uh... Equipment is in this, so again, this this looks sort of similar to magic. We've got lands, we've got cards on a curve. You play your lands, your shards, you gain uh, the ability to play these cards from your hand. Though the difference is you have like the threshold system from, uh, from this game, because this game predates Eternal, but like Eternal. Um... But also in the single-player stuff that I enjoy, you also have all this equipment that alters what your cards do. So, like, I've put Builderbot back in my deck, because Builderbot says to play, come to play, create a random artifact and put it in your hand. But the hat changes that to deploy, summon a random artifact, which m turns this card from, like, oh, 4 mana 3-2 that draws a random card to... Oh, it's Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, that's something, you know. So, uh, but what we are going to add here, so Cerebral Jack Hat is incredibly powerful. I can't stress how powerful this card is. It's a two-cost artifact that comes into play with three counters. You tap it, remove a counter to draw a card. So for two mana over the course of three turns, you draw three cards. That beats the heck out of, like, <laughs> it makes card advantage fake. But even better, with the chest of electrical force, which I will equip here, it instead has draw two cards, then discard a card. So uh, in the late game, we can just discard shards and draw real gas. The other other thing with it, is if I want to, I can take off my gloves, which I'm going to. I think I'm going to. What are my current gloves? Let me see what my current gloves are. My current gloves are... Ooh, actually, I might not. My morphologies are really good. 
So, but my, my gloves, <laughs> the gloves here give it the ability for bounce this card. How is that legal? Specifically, this is a card, you can tell because the set symbol is a clear without without anything. Let me show a different card. So this set symbol has like an actual symbol and like if you hover over it, it tells you rarity common uh, set shards of fate. That means it's a PVP card. The cerebral jack hat does not have a set symbol, it just has a one and a color. The other way you can tell if, a, so that means it's only single player. The other way you can tell is actually the bordering. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Ru Drew's Ironclad Roller. Now, keep an eye on this top left corner here. I'm going to go ahead and look at the Builder Bot. Now, the Builder Bot has this filigree right here. That's, that is only, as far as I've seen, in single player. So, yeah, we can we can make it even more powerful. However, I'm not going to equip the the factoring fingers at the moment because my, my morphologies, which are this card here, morphology, uh, put target card in its controller's hand, then transform that card into a random action of the same shards. This is my removal spell that, ant like, silences. It's really powerful as, like... Ah, uh, you bounce their creature, and if they pumped it to hell and made it this super hell dude, normally if you bounced it, it'd keep the super hell dude status. But with the gloves, the gloves give that card they gain. At the end of the turn, if it's still in your hand, each opposing champion draws a card. So the Mighty Morphin Glove here makes my, my morphology uh, more phenomenal. So we are, we are all powerful. Uh, I can also include white in here. Anyway, so that's what the deck looks like. I'm actually going to cut the Scrap Tech Brawlers at the moment. Oh, I'm viewing a... Sorry. So I want to cut the Scrap Tech Brawlers. I added the Cerebral Jack Hat. Let's change the filter. Uh, we want to turn off these colors. There we go. Because I need to, I'm at 59 here. I need to add one more now that I cut those out. So this is a very like aggressive, evasive deck that also has a, a artifact theme going on. Um, is what's going on here? Let me. Hell's this? World decree, deploy. Oh, this is like mana fix or like color fixing. That's cool. Could put the gnome wayfire back in there. I took out the ruby auras. I really like those, but um, ah well. Firebrand, crackling magma. That could be all right as a one of, just as like a, a answer things. Robo dog. Yeah, that's part of my abilities. Uh, I will show those off when we get into crackling tide. Maybe I don't want crackling tide. Because the brawlers are quite good. These are like Black Lotus or like Lotus Bloom style cards, but they don't fit in with the curve of this specific deck. That does not mean they are a bad card, though. It just means that they work better in a different style of deck. Could put Blazing Hammer back in. The Fire Soul Wizard. Uh, let's. Let's go with one big eagle. One big eagle will be fine. Or with one big eagle. This is just going to be a big flyer for the deck. This is a placeholder. This card's going to get cut once we find something else. But for now, we got good stuff. So, Warbot Bunker would be nice. Warbot Bunker would be nice. I'll, I'll pass on that for now, but certainly is a good card. All right. Anyway. I'm done with this. I did want to... Let's hit the floppy disk. Okay. So like I said, the goal for this one is... I want to try to get up to enough gold to buy... Uh, that's not what I wanted. I want to go into... Nope, that's also not what I wanted. This one is what I want. I don't know what's in this. The Kismet's Reserve, but... Damn it, I'm going for it. So... I also don't want to know. More specifically... All right, one last thing I need to do is, here's our talent tree. 
Uh, this game, so right now we have uh, a number of different talents that, uh, a lot of them revolve around Robodog. So Robodog, uh, we have a talent that gives Robodog plus two, plus two, instead of plus one, plus one. Robodog has a plus one health, and we also start the game with a Chew Toy in play, which we'll see immediately. I also want to, when I get my next point, I'm going to take this Overwatch. Overwatch is good, by the way. This is a good ability. Um... It's, this is Overwatch, not in the sense of the Blizzard game, but Overwatch in the I'm playing XCOM sense of, of it. So, Overwatch is, uh, going to be, over, like, I, I really want this to be, yeah, really a chew toy, well, the, the trick is that this beast tree seems to be made for my pet to be a normal dog rather than a robo-dog, but my dog is a robo-dog. All right, let's quick do a, just a battle before I go to the new area. By the way, I've done everything on this map and have left it, so let's do a battle on this map before we go. Uh, should be like... Here should be a repeatable... I don't remember what this one is, but... Let's have our dwarf walk over here. Just to show off, again, this is more of a showing off the game, so people that have... This is the first time they've seen this. This is actually a bad one. I don't like... Tunnelers aren't a good start one. Pale Moon, that'll be good. That doesn't show off the game well. Uh, this shed, though. Pale Moon. Okay, so... This will just be showing off the game, and then we'll go ahead to go to the new area, we'll do some of the new area, and then we'll go ahead and do the Frost Fang Arena, whatever the heck that is. Frost, well, Frost Wolf Arena? The Frost Wolf Stand Ready Arena? That's a different arena. That's a completely different arena. We're not doing that one. Alright, so in this game, I was looking into it. Apparently, and this sounds like the biggest zoo lie I've ever heard, alright? But I'm going to repeat it to you, the zoo. I have been told by a post with no source that heck quote hex automatically removes the outlying 10% of hands that have too much or too few mana sources Auto from from your your hands you are able to get at the beginning of the game it sounds like a lot of hogwash to me. Anyway, um, this looks good. We have both colors. Uh, I've got Ruby Pyromancer. We've got a curve. Anyway, that sounds like a, 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 a full... Anyway, let's keep that. Alright, so we're fighting against a, a Kyoto deck that's going to be using, uh, but I thought that I would infect the zoo with that knowledge. So here's the Chew Toy. Uh, Chew Toy can't attack or block. You spend a health on it to give an attack to your pet. It also taps the pet. Ooh, Yurig the Robomancer. Yurig's quite good. So, the way this game works is much like Magic, you have a 7 card hand starting, you play 1 shard a turn. The shards give you both resources and thresholds, as well as charges. Um, you spend your resources to play cards, you spend your charges on your abilities over here, and you, you need to hit the threshold to play a card. You don't need to spend the threshold, you just need to hit the threshold. All right. Ooh, the Cerebral Jack Hat. I'm not playing that this turn, so we're going to play a Ruby Shard. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be spending two charges, which are generated by playing our shard. We gain a, a resource, we gain a, a influence, and we gain a charge. Charges are used for our abilities. We're going to summon Robodog. 
Now, I could have played Ruby Pyromancer on the turn, then summon Robodog, but I don't actually want to play the Ruby Pyromancer on the turn, which is the reason I'm, I'm doing this, this ordering. Um, Robodog is a Vigilant, or I'm sorry, Steadfast, it does not exhaust to attack, 1-3, that the ability will give plus 2, plus 2 for 2 charges. Do we still have the Worthless Random Missile ability? Yes. We also have a new ability called Overwatch, which I'm going to activate on this turn. Overwatch is a zero-cost ability that you can use once a game to, whenever your opponent plays a, a, a troop, there's a coin flip to deal four damage to them. So, because my opponent hasn't done anything, it's likely they'll try to do something on turn three. So we're going to use our Overwatch. And we're also going to play the Jet Cadet. Now, the, again, the Jet Cadet is the reason I didn't play the Ruby Pyromancer. Uh, this effect here is the Prophecy, which is kind of stunning that it has an actual effect because one of the, my problems with this game is that things just happen arbitrarily and don't tell you. We can use the Chew Toy at any time, so we're going to wait to use it until the end of our opponent's turn. Now, hopefully, our opponent plays out a... Alright, so they did... Oh, no, they're going to use their, their ability to turn this Jet Cadet defensive. Oh, okay. No play on three. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use the Chew Toy, exhaust our pet... Now, I'm not going to be paying the 2 to revert this card. That'll probably be a turn 4 play. What I am going to do is play out our motorbike, motor trike driver. Because our motor trike driver is a ridiculously powerful card. It has speed, lets it attack when it comes in play, and rage 2, which gives it 2 attack every time it, it attacks. The devs made a forms post about, about it with the formula ELA they're using. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's even better on the Zulai. Oh boy. I'm really happy about that Zulai. Uh, so, Robodog and Motor Trick Driver will attack. Then, after it attacks, we're going to use the Chew Toy to give Robodog an extra attack to deal some extra damage here. Are you seriously passing on? Okay, you're not passing on four. Well, this is in play in your or in your hand. You can see opposing underground troops. Sure. That triggers the pale the prophecy of the bright moon ability. Ooh, look at this! So this thing is pumped because of the prophecy. So, what we're going to do, we're going to play out a shard. We've hit two charges, so we're going to go ahead and spend two charges to give Robodog plus two plus two, which will let Robodog um, attack through the three five. We're going to play out our big old Jet Cadet. And we're going in. We're actually going to go in with that one. Yeah, we're gonna go in. I'm, we're gonna go in with just the Robo Dog, not the Motor Trike or this. The Motor Trike can't go in, but I have to choose which of these two I want to revert. I'm going to revert the Jet Cadet rather than the Motor Trike Driver, because when the Motor Trike Driver reverts, it's going to lose its Rage Two speed and power. I'm also going to pass on using the Chew Toy. Specifically because I want to leave up a blocker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and revert Jet Cadet. Which does not remove the plus one power from my equipment tray. But does remove any additional text it would gain. So if I reverted this Jet Cadet, it would lose its additional uh, power. Our Cerebral Jack is here, which... Uh, Hey, Gnome, is this card a little better now? <laughs> this, this card is already busted as all hell, but like now it's like doubly busted, and I love it. Oh, my goodness. I can't get over how absolutely ridiculous... Ooh, Spirit Eagle. Oh, whenever it's... Okay, that's cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use this. Ooh, Morphology. Um... Let's use that to take the win. Our opponent's tapped out, right? Oh, you... Okay, so... Sorry. Cerebral Jack Hat was a card that used to say... Uh, 
tap draw a card, but now it says tap draw two cards, then choose and discard a card. The card was already ridiculous, and now it's doubly ridiculous, and I just wanted to point that out because it's really dumb. And we're going to bounce Spirit Eagle. And we'll tack all out. And that'll take the game. Oh, and then the game fades into this, and we get our rewards or whatever, which are 250 gold and some experience. Cool. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a uh, river to the next area. I have not done this at all, so I don't know what's, what awaits me. Yes, take me to the L. I'll uh, Chain C. Alachian? Alachian. Okay. So, brand new area. Where did we come from? Where did this river... How far away in relative terms in the world are we? Like, is the desert... Anyway, let's go ahead and move along. <laughs> We're in West Virginia. River narrows to a shallow stretch of lethargic water. The shore is cluttered with cattails. But not actual cattails. The monstrous crocodile surges up from the water, her jagged maw stamping at your neck. All right, let's do it. Large appetite. So double green and three charges. You get when an opposing troop dies... Gain four health this turn. Then, deal four damage to a variant. Oh! Lying wait, your ready troops have spell shield. Okay. All right. So, you you can just... L he random helix. I don't think we won that. Anyway, uh, this looks fine. We have a curve, which is going to be Ruby into Motor Trike, though. Okay, we do have... So, Motor Trike needs us to have another Underworld troop hanging out in our hand, which the Yancey uh, will do. We'll keep on this, then. We only need single red for everything in our hand, and Robodog gives us a guaranteed two. But we have to remember to play the Ruby Pyromancer first. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Okay. I didn't realize we were still in Piranha House. I'm turning on our Overwatch immediately. Target troop gets opposing troops must block this if able this turn. Yeah, I'll be right on that. Okay, well, I take one because I've got armor, and there's another. Come on, Overwatch. Well. Alright. So, we'll play our shard. We'll play out the Ruby Pyromancer. And then also a Deploy Dog. So, Dog is going to block this Piranha, and I'm probably just going to trade the Ruby Pyromancer on the other Piranha. <laughs> Your dwarf would fit in perfectly in XCOM. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, they don't have the threshold for their ability. The dog is expendable, but is already a 3-3. Three, three. And will be a 5-5 five five in a coming turn, so I'm, I'm willing to keep the dog around. Because th th my charges give it plus 2, plus 2, rather than plus 1, plus 1 now. Alright, so we want to play the Motor Trike Driver. And we will attack for 6. Well, 7 actually, we'll just make this 7. I'm actually going to keep the Chew Toy around at 1 health as to try to make... 
the lurking crocodile ability worse because it hits a random thing and it might hit the chew toy and do nothing. So I'll put our opponent to half health. They're dead to our 50 50 shot. Another piranha, eh? Well, let's give our dog plus two plus two, so now it's at six five. Let's fire the, the shot. Yo! How did that... That's not... A, that is the only outcome I didn't expect to happen. Um... Okay, so... Your ready troops have spell shield. I can't read spell shield, but... Apparently I can sidestep spell shield through random effects? Okay, that's... That's knowledge I did not have before. Let's go ahead and use the chew toy. Apparently, Spell Shield does not block that effect. Good to know. Because I can't read the text to see what Spell Shield's actual text is. Ooh, what, what do we got here? Subterranean Augur. Oh boy, tunneling! God. Okay. So, tunneling is suspended by a different name. If you're familiar with magic, that will sidestep all of, uh, everything else. It, it'll sidestep all the knowledge you need. However, if you're not familiar with Suspend, Tunneling has the longest reminder text in the goddamn world. Um, basically, we pay two mana to put it face down on the table. Two turns later, it comes into play with speed. Um, however, this one... Seems really good. Like, so we pay two to put it face down. And for the turns where it's face down, if we play dwarves or artifacts, it gets plus two, plus two. <laughs> you may as well say enchant dead creature. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You fend off the reptilian attacks. Several gallons are sloshing around your... F okay. Oh, our boat. Whoops. That's bad. Alright, uh, let me do, do, do card collection. We're gonna go ahead and switch that one card I wasn't really keen on into the, the, our new card. Oh, I saw it there. They have a fancy look. So the subterranean augmenter. Because it cares about dwarves and artifacts, which are... I, I don't know, it's like... 90% of our deck is dwarves and artifacts. Dwarf. Uh, dwarf. Dwarf. That's a bird, but... Dwarf artifacts. Dwarf who makes artifacts. Dwarf with a bunch of uh, runes in it. Dwarf. Artifacts. Artifact. Yeah. So... We'll, we'll be using it that way. Also some birds. So the birds are in here because I have a a, a, a tail, that I think Squirrel Token gave me, that gives them speed. And, I, I'm sorry, that gives them flight and then they have speed. Sorry, other way around. I was like, they have flight and then they gain speed? No. It's, they gain speed. So... Like, these are a 3-2 flying haste. I love the... I love that card. It's it's really good. I can only have two in my deck right now because it's a... Uh, because it's a green, and then my green is at two. But we'll get there. Anyway, let's go ahead and back out... Uh, yeah, I'd like to save changes. I forgot to hit the uh, floppy disk. Oh, and that happened. All right, uh, the mouth of the river where it meets the the sea. Why? No, I can't do like funny pirate accent. I, what kind of funny pirate accent do I got? Nah. I I can't do a a, a funny tales. I can. 
Uh, I go where I please, filthy pirate. Dwarf who thinks the bathtub is going to... Yeah, okay. Pickaroons, huh? All right. Pickaroons? Uh, um... You can't have my boat? No? Okay, everyone, time to be truthful. How many of you have never used a floppy? I have used floppies a lot back in the day. I... I specifically can recall having to use, like, six floppy disks to, to, to transfer one big attachment thing. It's, uh... And I can specifically recall, even further back, using ancient floppies when I was an even smaller child. Uh, this is my boat? You can't have it? Okay. Alright, Red Red 2, so many higher horn protectors. Hired Horn Cutthroat. Okay, you get a 2-2 two -two Haster. Prevents all be damage that'll be... Excuse me? You wanna... You wanna run that ability by me again? Am I playing like uh, one of the... You are immune? I think that's what I'm reading? Alright. Wait, the Minotaur's a real card? Oh. At the end of each opposing champion's turn, remove an escape counter from this. If there are no escape counters on this, you've successfully escaped from the Captain Trump's bike and his crew. Uh, yeah, alright. So, oh, you've got equipment. You've got an equipment bar. Hold on. When did that happen? But yeah, the higher... Let's, let's keep this one. We got, like, a curve and good cards. Uh, larger boat than your leaky boat. You can survive his onslaught. You might just be able to row your way to safety. Okay. Sure. Well, I only take one because of my armor. That's good. Alright, let's... And let's apply Overwatch. Uh, the O3 can't attack or block. This is actually... I start every game with that. Come on, Overwatch. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and play our Ruby Pyromancer first. And then make our dog second so the dog can beat these in combat. Deal two damage to two random opposing troops or champions. Miss the dog. Yes, it missed the dog. Ugh! It hit Chew Toy in my face. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm invincible. I guess I'll play out a motor trike driver and attack with it. I'll attack with it to get it to 3-3 three, three so that it can start blocking. So I don't actually have too much longer to li to need to live in this fight. Yep, there's another cutthroat. What are you? Oh, 
what the hell? <laughs> this is the fakest thing in the world. Yeah, this is also a real card. This isn't, but... Thanks. Oh, okay, here we go. Are we dodging? Yep, we dodged. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and play our Builder Bot. As I mentioned, Builder Bot, rather than saying add a random artifact to your hand, is now like a Bloodbraid Elf level summon a random artifact, which can get really... Okay, prevent all damage that would be... De can I beat this guy? Map spot. Ooh. Multi-adaptable programming, programmable systems. One mana, one one. It's not really that great, but it can grow as much as I feel like. You can't beat this guy. That sounds like a challenge, Squirrel Token. Oh. Well, that was the challenge I was going with. That's kind of lame. I'm going to crush you. Sure. Robodog can block. You hold off jump spike stack long enough for you to escape and row beyond his reach. Cool. Need a bigger boat. You can't hope to hurt chum spike and such a tiny ship. So we just need to go find a better ship. I guess is like our, our goal. You point surf towards the land southeast and start swimming. Oh, there's a shooting arrow. Okay. Oh, I guess I could have sidestepped that encounter, like, just by going to the... By saying, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't know how we, like, didn't just win that fight. Come on. Oh, it's Takumi again. What the heck? How'd you get here? Tunneling my way north. So I watch Minotaur pirates. <laughs> the game I got the beach. I had to look and it was on the shore. Uh, yeah, we're near. Oh, we're both doing the same thing. Well, let's go deal with some knolls, I suppose. Closer in the ruins, top of the hill to the south. The rain station to reaching Nagan. Nagan! Okay, cool. Nifty. Oh, it's incomplete. Interesting. Oh, oh, it's a dungeon. Alright. Crumbling ruin of an old castle sits on the rocky uh, top of Rocky Bluff. You can hear the faint echo of a howl in the distance. Uh... Emily, this is a fun single-player game. Uh, it, Betamax basically has it in a nutshell. The campaign is extremely good if you're into fake bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Ares. <laughs> Bad Boon probably in effect. So, been scanning there in the hill of the with gnolls. The dog here recently found a recruit them from the underworld. Looks like a waste of my time. Uh, their king is a wild dog called Kazraga. Of course, we have more Kazes. I told you I found uh, I found a different Kaz earlier too. <sighs> Ruthless and smart refuses to join the alliance. So we need to go kill Kaz Raga. Okay, three daughters. Need to find all of them, determine which one will best serve the underworld, then s send them in. 
All right. Um, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Winding road. <laughs> Me Berg. Me Murphy. Okay. Okay, so, basic, double red, two charges. Target troop you, you control gets plus, uh, plus power equal to its power until the start of your next turn. That troop gets... Okay, double the power of a troop, give it first strike, or, like... And then triple color, or double color of three colors. At the start of your turn, the top card of your deck gets speed. Is as troop put into play, speed must attack. Okay. You got it. So, we got John Dagro. Cleric is good at doing nothing. Yeah. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with Dwarf, but that's more... Oh. What, what do you have in play here? Yo! What? Oh, this turn. Okay. Whew. Dog. Alright, uh, this hand is not good for us because it doesn't have anything to do on two. Ooh, but it has. Okay. In my deck, I have this uh, Swift Lizard thingy that gives a random minion plus one attack and speed at the beginning of the game. Anyway, we're going to mulligan this. Replace hand. Uh, okay, we got both colors. Uh, I'll keep this because it's got the Cerebral Jack Hat and that can fix us really quickly. Because, like, it's just, like, draw six cards. So, let's go ahead and play our shard. Do I want to overwatch? I don't think I want to overwatch. Not on one. Let's overwatch on two. So, this only deals two to us, which is fine, because we have the armor. The armor is basically a free point of health that regenerates every turn. So we're taking two. This is a good card, by the way. This is a real card, or card too, right? Like this, or well, it doesn't tell me what set it's from, but it has a symbol. Hmm. I don't know. Two mana, three three is real. Do you think armor one will ever get less useful? I mean, armor one keeps me alive a lot. It's real nice. It's a real card, but it doesn't tell me. Yeah, it's like a little hungry spriggan, but which is nice. All right, so we get to play our Cerebral Jack Hat, which is going to be super dumb. Also, we'll make Robodog. And we will... I think I'm going to Overwatch this turn. Let's Overwatch on two. And we'll use our Jack Hat to... Dr literally, two mana, draw two, discard a card. And we do that for the next couple turns. Uh, I'm going to discard one of my top end things here. Let's go with the Patera bot, because the mechanical R aerialist will get better, and Sapphire R I can play next turn. So, Terra bot. And then next turn we can cycle more. But no, I don't think that this armor is ever going to become less useful, because like it's just like... It's like my starting health total isn't 20, it's more like my starting health total is like 27. Which is really nice. Okay... Oh, thankfully, this is a sorcery speed ability. So, target troop gets, you control gets plus power equal to its power, and then gets swift strike. So, this is going to become a 2-1, and then it'll attack into a 4-3. Which means it's going to hit hard, but that's not really a problem. So. Yep, we'll take the hit. And, oh, I guess my Overwatch didn't do anything. Whatever, it's a free ability. Alright, before we do anything, let's go ahead and loot. This is so good! Uh, I can get rid of one of these Sapphire Shards. I don't need that. I think... want to play Sapphire Aura...
Next turn will be Builder Bot or Mechanized Aerialist. Okay, so that wears off. You know that card would be good if it was just loot? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, they're off colors. They're only on red. Plus 20. There's a really cool spirit deck that uses a 6 mana 5-5 five, five to get 20 plus armor. <laughs> Ooh, there's the Skittering Scarn. Before the start of the game, if this is in your deck, two random troops get plus one and speed. I wish there was a more visible effect for that. Oh, like this, see? I didn't realize this had it because there's no visible effect for this card has been buffed. Um, let's loot. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Ironclad Roller because that's a little too hefty on mana cost. We're going to go ahead and play out our thing, use our ability to up Robodog to a 6-6. And before attacking, we're going to play Builder Bot, because it could pump. I don't know everything that's available. Ooh, Scrapyard Magnetron. This is a, uh, this is pretty cool. This one is a 5-mana 3-3. Three, three. Like, this is part of a thing that's like, when it, it becomes smaller and smaller as it dies. So this is a 5-mana 3-3 three, three that dies, becomes a 2-2, two, two, that dies, becomes a 1-1. One, one. There's also a 4-4 four, four that dies, becomes the 3-3, three, three, that dies, becomes the 2-2, two, two, that dies before the... So, anyway, I just paid 4 mana for, like, this is a Bloodbraid Elf. Again, I keep calling this the Bloodbraid. It doesn't have haste, but it's pretty damn close. Anyway, hey, Robodog. And... Let's, let's not use the Chew Toy quite yet. I'm willing to spend... Save it. Oh! What the hell was that? What happened? What'd you just do? Where'd the black threshold come from? Why do you... What? Damn it, I did not see what that was. Sure. Okay, whatever. Something happened. And now they're doing the, the doubler on the attack dog. And then the attack dog... Oh. Oh! It's, uh, Combust. It's Bone Splinters. Sack a troop, destroy a troop. Goodbye, Robodog. Whenever another troop dies, this guy... Hmm. Ah, you know... Oh, and then you're gonna Bone Splinters again. And then my 3-3 three, three dies and becomes a 2-2. Two, two. Sure. We'll go ahead and play the Jet Cadet, because it has haste from uh, the power of our Skittering Skarn. That makes this aerial ace super cheap, which is what I'm after. Uh, no, what did it do? Choose shard. Is that a duel? What's the... Did the audio in the game just die? Oh. When a troop dies, deal one damage to each opposing champion. Sure. When another troop dies, this gets plus one and lethal. Oh, I see your, your gimmick. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, nothing else. I guess I could speed out the Skittering Skarn, but... What's the butt there? Let's speed out the Skittering Skarn. Everybody in. So, let's play Mechanized Aerialist for free. And then Terabot for two. Because we control one, two, three, four, five things that reduce its cost. Well, this is socket is plus one plus one. When this attacks, draw. Car okay, so it's got the the fake the the red impulse draw. And is a ten two. 
Yo! Alright, I get your gimmick. Um, I'm gonna beat you down with flyers now? That's my gimmick. I like my gimmick. Cool! What do we get from that? 200 gold. Okay, we might not hit the gold threshold I wanted tonight. That was the point. Guess I could have tried to talk to him, but nah. Kildonian... Kildonan. Ah, the Kildonan Circle. Hey, Zag. Oh, that was one of the sisters. Okay. I like, I like Berg. My other sister is a liar. You're a liar. You look like the wizard. I don't believe you. You're the, you're the wizard. Why would I believe the wizard? Okay, so you're, okay, so you're Sultai, oh. Six, summon a copy of target troop, any target. When you draw a card, 25% chance to copy it when you're on double of, uh, of soul tie colors. Zog, you are, you are a liar and a wizard. I don't know who Donan is. <laughs> oh, what do you got to start with? At the start of your turn, this transforms into a copy of another random troop in play. It retains this power. Sure. Um... Well, this looks fine. A little heavy on lands, but still fine. Oh! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for it to become the Jew toy. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Wait, why did you play a duel? Hold on, what did you play? I missed it. Shit. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking and now I get owned for it. Fuck. No! Okay, that was a... Cackling Archer. When another troop dies, this gets plus two, plus two. Sure. Is Burn just Bolt? No. It's Shock. Alright, so... Glendower is go. Let's fire the Overwatch here. Skyguard does mean reach. You are correct. Draw two cards, gain two charges. Yo, that's a good sorcery. You're almost up to the six charges you need to copy something. Oh, this is a gold is AI only. Oh, so it's a uh, uh, it's that one spell. It's the it's the boss spell from uh, from Hearthstone. You know the one. Draw three cards, gain six armor. That used to be Fireheart. That was draw four card, draw two cards, and gain four armor. But then it became a looming presence.
You fell for my onboard trick. Good job. Oh, now you got Glendower. Sure, I'll take zero. It doesn't seem really matter. And then you're gonna play. What the hell? <laughs> The four random non-resource cards in your deck gain when you play this. Copy it. Okay. Two four flyers, not bad. It, it blocks off this. And you're gonna copy. Yeah, you're gonna copy the schemer. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, let's go ahead and play out this. We'll gain our power, and I'm actually going to attack with the Dust Buzzard, because I have a plus one, plus one trick in hand. Which seems like our opponent will fall for. Let's use... No, let's keep Chew Toy in play as a something you can randomly turn into and waste its damn time. Nope, it stayed as Glendower. Mesmerize. Target troop gains. Can't untap. Okay. Okay. That's a pretty nifty art. Like, this art reminds me of, like, a, like a, Lor like a Lorwyn Morning Tide sort of thing. I guess Unmake immediately came to mind, and I was like, ah... <laughs> All right, so our bird has been mes ah, our bird is Street Fighter stunned and is about to get comboed for the rest of the f for the rest of its uh, bar. Whoops! <laughs> I love that. That's Street Fighter like. <laughs> I can't do the noise right, but you know what I mean. I have to walk back to the st store and you stay in. When you say 9.45, I hope you don't mean an hour and a half, but if you mean an hour, half an hour, yeah, sure, I'll still be here. Okay, another doppelganger. But yeah, if you mean half an hour, yes, I will still be here. Ooh, Builderbot! Um, let's go Ruby Pyromancer Builderbot. Oh, then yeah, half an hour? Yeah, sure, I'll still be in this. Uh, let's do Builderbot first. And So, funnily enough, Glendower actually gets weaker with the Builderbot change, because Builderbot used to put an artifact in your hand, and Glendower cares about artifacts coming in your hand. Uh, but Builderbot no longer puts it in your hand with this equipment, it puts it in play. And what did we get? Warp Steel Widget. Whenever another artifact enters play under your control, add a warp steel counter to this. Tap. This transforms into a random artifact with cost equal to the number of warp steel counters on it. Remove all warp steel counters from this. And also, um, the Street Fighter stun effect has not gone away. Oh, what are you? 4-4 four, four crush whenever another troop dies, gets plus 2, plus 2. Sure, whatever. So, 8-7 dog. Builderbot can attack too, I guess. Let's play... I could fire the rockets? Let's play Terabot. Attack with these two. Robodog can get double blocked. Or they can just take a lot of damage. And I guess that makes a 6-6. Six, six, but, uh, okay. 
Can't say I feel bad about that. Oh, they got the Ruby Pyromancer now. What are you? Oh, you're the schemer again. Sure. And... Oh, this had the copy. No, no, no. Empower. While this is in your hand, zero, transform into a power, doubling all... When, oh, okay, so it did have the copy. Draw two, discard, draw two, discard. Okay. Wow, that's actually pretty cool with the doubler. Like, so this is a three mana draw two, discard one, which isn't very good, but you can all you can double it into a six mana draw four, discard two, or something like that's that's an I like that effect. I don't think the card itself is great, but the effect is quite nifty. Um Let's draw first. Recognized aerialist. Uh, let's go ahead and fire off the rockets. Nothing happened. Okay. Go to combat. Robodog and Terabot. Come on in. We're going to kill the Carrion Thrasher. Ah! <laughs> It's catalog, yeah, but like the, the the doubler part of it is interesting. Obviously, it's catalog. Why does my armor have like this weird it flashes sometimes? That's funky. Hmm. Oh, it kept the plus one power. So I've been I've been trumped. Nuts. Four four flyer for five. No text. Real card. Uncommon. Sure. I'll take air elemental. That's, that's like real. Ooh, hey. Yeah, let's play the, the roller. That seems good to me. So, this can't untap. I can untap it by tapping three, and then when it untaps, it makes a patrol bot, which is a two on flyer. So. Okay, can't attack. Too many flyers on that side. But I'll keep most of these things at home. So that's good. Probably should use the widget on two. That's probably fine. I'm sorry, is that gaining a power every time it... Tra no, did that copy itself or something? How did that gain a power? Let's warp steel for two. Drew's unrelenting fist! Enters play exhausted. Three, tap, add a fist counter to this, then it deals one damage to a random opposing champion or troop for each fist counter on it. At the end of your turn, if this is ready, destroy it. <laughs> I need to invent a machine that punches everyone who deserves it, which is actually everyone. Alright, so we have a machine that punches everybody. Well, better use it. Cast fist. So let's attack. This is going to get double blocked, but I'm fine getting something off our opponent's board. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. My opponent's getting a lot of flyers today. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Well. Cast fist. Oh. <laughs> I I cast fist. <laughs> Look, wizard. Pa disappear. Oh. Look, when the wizard does some obvious garbage to you, you just go ahead and cast Fist, and that will allow you to escape the fight. 
Uh, yeah, watchtower. Sure. Vargar. Uh, Um, okay, so this is a Abzan colors, white, green, black, double white and three charge, charge troop gets plus one, plus one for each troop you control, no duration, oh boy, all right, don't let you have a board is what I'm hearing. Oh, cool. I need to upload that, by the way. That's something I need to do. Crap. That's a good start. Uh, double color with the cerebral. Yeah, we can keep double color with cerebral. That seems good. Because we'll get dog on two, which is a like real play. It's a two, three. Glad Bazeri has been a lot of fun. I will go on about that game until the end of time. So, you get life drain for two. Well, for one, I suppose. Did they actually gain the full two? No, the armor prevents it. Good. It is actual damage prevention. Alright, um... I could play the Jet Cadet, but I actually want the third land pretty heavily. So, we're gonna go ahead and play the Cerebral Jet Cat instead. Four cards. Like, in four cards, I have to find the land, right? Let's get rid of the roller. Roller's too expensive. And we'll turn on Overwatch for the turn. Because I don't want my opponent to have a lot of minions, is sort of the thing. Guard dog. When this blocks, gets plus two, plus two. Sure. Overwatch good enough on it? Nope. And they'll... Oh, no, they won't attack right in. That's good. Okay, so there's our land. Um, I want to get Spo Spo out there soon. Let's... I just want to play Dust Buzzard and get in. I can get rid of one of these shards, I think. So let's play out the... Ooh, it's even got the, the plus one. Nice. So, Dust Buzzard, get in there. Okay, that's the all colors, though it only gave them a white. Okay, so they get plus two, plus two on their leech. Ugh. Yo, what the heck? Okay, and then my opponent plays uh, Travel Prep, which recharges their ability. Yikes, that's annoying. Then travel prep happens, and... Alright, so let's go ahead and let's power up Robodog. Let's filter with the Jack for the last time. Can probably just get rid of one of the shards. Let's get rid of the Ruby shard. Uh, let's go ahead and play Spospo. And then let's attack for nine. I will trade if I have to. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't. I have Spore Spawn in play. Oh, I can't trade. Whatever. When this deal is dealt damage, summon a random insect. What does Spore Spawn do? Spore Spawn, at the beginning of the turn, gets a, a seed counter. It and beasts and plants get plus one, plus one for each seed counter. Robodog's a beast, so Spospo will get plus one, plus one, and... Robodog get plus one, plus one every turn. And oh, I guess our bird isn't a beast. It's a bird, but... You know. So Spore Spawn goes up. Everything goes up, you know. Okay, I am going to attack with... 
think it's just going to be Dust Buzzard, and then I'll play out Jet Cadet plus Aerialist. So Jet Cadet, Mechanized Aerialist, and these are fours now. They'll get even lower as time goes. What do you got? Oh! Right, oh, this is the quick one. This is the Fennec Fox. That's a trick. Why are you playing that main phase? Um... Well, let's get in there with flying. That's basically safe. And then we'll go ahead and play Adaptatron, and then Terabot will go down to three cost, and we'll play Terabot. And this supposed to is just holding off the board, basically. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what Fennec Foxes do. It's it's weird, but you know that's just how they are. You know? And then we crush him with flyers, and that generally works against most opponents. Evasion's pretty good. Continue. E <laughs> continue. Colon space. All right, Varga. Oh, we got some gold. Just need to talk to you. Okay. So I have three different directions I can go. I can go to Berg Shanty. I can go to Zog's Tent. I can go to Vargar's Shed. Hmm. I think out of the three... Because we had... Because we, we started off meeting uh, Berg. And then we met Zog, and then we met uh, Vargar. I don't think so. I think we're trying to pick the one we want to take over the knolls after we 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 de, we dethrone, dispose, of, de, depose, depose, Kaz. Um, after we depose Kaz, we want one of these three. I don't trust a wizard. Just that that seems like a good rule of thumb. Doubly so because my dwarf probably doesn't trust a wizard. Um, which really has it down between Bergen and Vargas. Though, if I'm going there, am I going there to knock him out? Or am I going there to... Well, whatever. Let's, let's go, uh... Let's go with Var... Oh, Vargar. Yeah, let's go with Vargar for now. That sounds good. I like Bergen, though. You want squirrel brains? I have extra. Uh, fruit crown. Father named tribe and he became king. Where did you get all these weapons? Okay. Well, let's go talk to everybody else. Say Berg. Berg, how's it going? Zog doesn't care, doesn't claim to care, Berg doesn't know, and Vargar is just assuming that she's gonna be the... I might, I might even stick with Vargar. That's fine.
Me and Dwarf go fight Nog Nog. Oh. Oh, we gotta go to Skull Cave. Look at that nice little skull down there. Alright. Let's go to the lair of Nog Nog. Rage Drow. Okay, Feral Knoll. The Knoll Princess you chose to support must prove her mettle. In this encounter, you will be playing as her. Oh boy. Right. We're just... We're, we're directing. Oh, wait. Am I just literally playing their deck? Ooh, okay. Um, three in... Uh, in Golgari. Ready, target, exhaust. Nog Nog you control. Yep, wait. Do you, oh, do you just start with a Nog Nog in play? Oh, boy. All right. Let's see how this deck plays out. This deck seemed to have like a minor sacrifice theme, but also, we, yeah, we start with the Leech Burrower. So let's just try and do the Leech Burrowing. Um, what are you? Prevent all damage? That's Fog. That's unplayable. Yo! Yo! This card owns? Holy shit. Summon two phantoms, they get all powers of this. This is like a Cloud Go Ranger, but like ridiculous. Yeah, it, this is, uh, sorry, safe passage, not fog. Um, and guard dog. I'm gonna mulligan just on colors. We only have one really playable card, and I don't like, I don't like a double green with no green. What's my power that's a, the leader of the pack? Yeah. Three bodies for you. Yeah, like, this is a 4-3 crush, and then the phantoms are flying crushers. Crush in all zones. I'm gonna replace hand. Ooh, that looks a lot... Oh, that looks awful. I was gonna say this looks a lot better, but no, it doesn't do anything. Replace. Sure, what do you do? When our troop dies... Okay, that's the... Okay, I don't like that. It's been a while since I've honestly had to mulligan in this game. Well, we can life leech back. That's fine. Literal life leech. Okay. This thing keeps growing. We're gonna go ahead and play a blood shard and a guard dog after combat. And then next turn, I can plus three, plus three to the Leech Burrower. Right, so Guard Dog's a 3-3 three, three on defense. That's fine. So what do you... How do you untap? You untap because off of this, right? Okay, target troop control gets death right our card and then just beats on my That sucked. And then untapping their nog in second main. Sure. So I'm gonna pocket the power. I'm not gonna use it yet. No attackers. They're going to attack for eight next turn. That's fine. Sure, that's fine. And take eight. I have a wild shard for the the thrash. That's good. If I want to power something up, I could power up guard dog and attack with both. That wouldn't be bad. I 
Or we could power up the, the Brute Hound Carver and just go to town that way, and then maybe they trade their Brute Crown Gorger off. Let's spread threats. Okay, so... Deploy, target opposing... Minus two, minus two, do I want that to be a... Could do it. I don't want to sack guard dog though. No, I'm good. You can have the five five for four. Hey, Boston, Boston. Spectral caller is here. Oh, that's dumb. Oof. We're gonna like next power. I'm gonna be powering up a phantom plus six. Yeah. Okay. Seems good. So Guard Dog can just block that. That's the reason I didn't care about the 5-5, five because five, it's a 6-6 six, six on defense. What are you? Whenever another card enters a crypt from play, draw. <laughs> oh. I sure hope you don't have Wrath of God. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the hit, thank you very much. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> Gain two charges. Sure. And then Fennec Fox is my, like, trick. That's why I didn't play it and have it gain the plus one. And then I crush my opponent with giant flyers. Now yeah, that went well. That's about how I wanted the deck to go when I saw that fake Cloud Goat Ranger. Or maybe, actually, I think, like, closer to, like, a Whirler Rogue. Or, I don't know, honestly, there's no really good comparison to 8 power, 4 of it flying for 5, like, in Magic. Cool. 500 gold, nice. And some experience. We're getting close. Level 8 is a, is a good point for me. I, I want to hit that. Alright, we got Nog Nog. Yeah! Now we go stab, 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 father. Cool. Ah, oh, she has quite a fight. What was that for Celestia 5 drop that makes birds? Like, there's the Trostani Summoner on 7, which is a 1-1 one, one that, make, that makes a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, and a 4-4. Four, four. Um, oh, no, the other two are going to block our way. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So the other two are going to mess with us in some manner. Oh, all right. King Kaz. Oh, yeah. Okay. That one. So I read that as a knoll named Scott. It's not a Vitugazi. Yeah, that seems like the closest thing I can think of to that. that yeah, that, that, I guess I can think of. You said. So you thought of. Um, it's missing the one power on the on the flyers, but it's damn close. 
A knoll named Scott was one of my most trusted captains. Oh no. You're finished, Kaz. At the start of your turn, deal one damage to each opposing champion for each knoll you control. Alright. Alright, Scott. Yo, that's five lands. That looks awful. So yeah, replace the hand. All right, two lands. Ooh, morphology seems good. We got burn. This gives us control of the board. This is good stuff. Yeah, yeah, scions populate. Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> Deploy. Gain 20 health. When a troop you control dies, two random troops you control get plus one, plus one. I'm sorry, is my opponent to start the game at five? Um. Sure, whatever. Uh, let's put up the Overwatch. That'll be fine. <laughs> no sorry, no gimmicks here. <laughs> yeah, okay, I had it. <laughs> Fine. Uh, might have to morphology something. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me... Gears, and I want to stop on opponent's second main. So we're going to Morphology the, this one, and the way this triggers is at end step, so because I'm doing the second main, I'm going to get a card from it. And then we turn off my stop in their second main, and then I get my card. Okay, fine. Another Knoll showed up. And they didn't play their card. Oh, they're out of... They're missing land drops. Oh, Nelly. That's bad for them. Alright, well, let's play a bit of a long game plan then. First things first, we want to bump, bump up Robo Dog, And we want to attack these two. We're going to go ahead and play Yurig the Robomancer and play for a long game with him. Oh, at the start of your turn, if you control a no, will draw a card. Their ability changed. I did not respect that. Okay, so this thing gets plus two, plus two, because it's a... But... When Oh god my chew toy oh no oh no my chew toy is eating the random uh You wanna think a little bit more on that? Anyway, uh let's go ahead and play out our My Chew Toy is eating up my random buffs. Um let's go ahead and play out Builder Bot? Oh let's attack first with Dust Buzzard. And then we'll play Builder Bot. 
Oh, that had speed! Crap! I didn't... Oh, well. Oh! Oh! Mecha Filk Ape! Revert to another target troop. Okay, so I can, like, revert this back down to low if I actually needed to. Then this is worker bot and worker bot and a war bot, war bot and a hulk bot. Okay. This seems pretty good. Like, revert seems like a silence, so... Alright, another one of those. I'll probably just shock that or something. Combat. And I get my card. Sweet. So I'm gonna worker bot. And... Don't wanna burn that. Burn that. Reason I'm fine with the burn is that I can like run. I can I can go ahead and ooh I can put Robodog back out. I can revert one of those if I need to in mid combat, and more importantly, I'm probably gonna Sapphire Aura on my Builder Bot and get in that way. Let's do that. Builder bot in. They trump. Good. I could revert this if I need to, so I don't need to worry about it. Or I could just trump it with a 1-1 a one -one defensive. But they control a null. I kind of want to end this match. Or I want to get out of this phase quick. Another troop dies. Sure. Okay. Exhaust my pet. Upgrade the worker bot into a war bot. And I think we'll... Sapphire Aura on Robodog. Let's attack in the air for some. More and more gnolls! Okay. Oh, good god. Another card enters a crit from play, draw a card, and another carrion thrasher, and another apex forger, and you got 30 health. Fine. Uh, we'll play Drew's Ironclad Roller and a Terrabot. And I can upgrade this Warbot into a War Hulk next, or on this turn if I want. So, feeling good. They're gonna have a lot of trouble doing combat. Uh, no, I'm fine. You can have a 5-5. Five five. I don't want to trigger all your shit. I also don't want... I don't want anything to die anymore. Yeah, I don't want anything to die anymore. Alright, so transform a warbot into a war hulk. And we'll attack all out with every one of our flyers we have hanging out. You, 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 you. And then we'll play out Mechanical Arius, TNC, and our Skittering Scarn. Oh, what the hell? Uh, this has so much text, the flavor text is covering up. Oh, this is the random card I gave them. Okay, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Summon a copy of a revealed troop. It gets all socketed powers of this. Put the revealed cards into your deck. Socket. When this attacks, troops you control get plus one, plus one, and lethal uh, underworld troops. 
The Knolls are all unaffiliated. Okay. Cool. Observed cards. Ugh, okay. Misery, gruesome dead. So they get a copy of the Giggling Scavenger again. There's no way they'll combat at me, so we just summon more worker bots. Ooh, my good old Skitter Gear Gang! And they made... So, th this card, when it comes into play... Oh, it even has the speed and plus one. Uh, when it comes into play, create a random action that I can play. So, Azure Fang Decree. Create five Spiderling Eggs for each champion and put them into their decks. Then bury the top five. Wait, so this puts Spiderling Eggs on my... Uh, oh, opposing champion. Okay, well, I, I thought it was each champion. Oh, that's cool. We'll do that after this. Let's go to combat and attack with... Uh, you float, you float, you float, you float, you float. Anything that looks like it's floating, just crush on in with. <laughs> Concede! Oh, Berg and Zack are coming. Oh. Why is their deck going into the void? What's going on? No, seriously, what is happening? Help? What just happened? At the start of your turn, summon a random knoll that... Uh, okay, so sacrifice it. And Zergo is... Plus one, plus, okay, it's a m Maro. Another random troop you control gets... M if you control another troop, another random troop you control gets minus one, minus one. Draw a card for Zog. Sure, I'm just going to play this then. Oh, hey, I got an egg. Oh, God, this guy, like, this whole blood thing going on. Sure, whatever. What do you got? Plus one, plus one for each troop near Crypt. All right, so Zerg's in 11-11. Uh, what do you do? I'll probably take the two... I don't want to take the 11. What's my best block on that? Does that have crush? I can just chump it. Yeah, I can just chump it. What's your ability? None? None available, huh? Yeah, I can chump. Do you sacrifice? At the end of your turn, sac Oh, never mind. I'll just kill this. I'll block this anyway. Um, so you will have Zog get chump blocked by a 1 1 and just call it a turn because this is gonna, these are all gonna trigger no matter what I do here. So we'll chump that and we'll have War Hulk block there. Everything triggers, everything in the world goes off, you draw a billion cards. Oh wait, can I just mill you that way? Is that a May? Whenever another card enters a crypt, draw a card. How many of these you control right now? Two of them? Wait, why is your mana two? Something's weird here. I don't understand what's going on in a little bit of this. Like... In the sense of, uh, like, why is my opponent on two resources? When did that happen? Was there a card that did that? 
Is that what Burgo? No, Burgo just makes it. This is all very strange. Whatever. Um, where are my flyers? Do you have anything that blocks flyers on that pile over there? No, 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 no. I think I might have forgotten to make a 1-1 there, too. Uh, whatever, let's go to combat. You fly, you fly, you fly, you fly, you fly, you fly, you fly. Well, you don't fly, you're unblockable, right? Yeah, that's your text. Nulls you control get plus one, plus one for each null you control. Okay, so the game's over on 15. Got it. Doesn't matter. Um, do you fly? No, you don't fly. Jet cadets. And motor drag driver. And then we can pass the turn. Oh, what is this? Dueling scavenger... Okay, this is the fake one. So let's go ahead and make our 1-1. One -one. So I'm going to work your bot. So work your bot on this. Big bot here. And, like, something in front of this bus. Another worker bot in front of that bus. Yeah, we'll do that. Thousand things happen! Whoa! Effects, effects, draw cards, oh my god, everything happens so much. Oh, that's got Skyguard. And then they discard down to 10. Let's fire the rocket launcher and see what... Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't. Um, alright. So you've got one blocker with anti-flying. That's fine. Flying, 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 in, in, in. I think that's everything with flying I control right now. Everybody in. Okay. Ideal some amount of some amount of damage happens and then uh let's fire the rocket launcher. Nothing happened. Okay, sure. If my opponent figures out to turn everything sideways, that might be bad, but that's not everything. So, alright, so let's go ahead and make the 1-1. One, one. Continue. What are you? Are you the free one? You're the free one. You're not the free one. You're an 11-11. Okay, so... Go to blockers. You in front of the 15-15. We'll take... The, don't put our... Don't put the robo-dog at risk. And we'll put, like, some of the one threes in front of this thing. None of these have crush. We'll just do that. Then a thousand things happen. Check this out. Huh! Crunch! A thousand triggers, 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 triggers. And they all resolve simultaneously and without anything. And then the cards just start going to the void. And then... This is like an EDH board, except for, like, worse. Like, usually an EDH board that gets to this point, like, this is where somebody plays a Wrath of God, and then it, it goes, it, it's over, but... And then a thousand cards go to the graveyard, because they discard, because they don't, they didn't draw their Reliquary Tower. Sucks for them, I suppose. Combat! Flyer, 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 one, two, three, four, oh, no, no... Okay, choose wisely, player. Explain this game state. Uh, my opponent has a thousand things that trigger on death. Um, every single one of these gnolls, not all of them, but most of the gnolls have death triggers. So this is a, um, like, like, plus one, plus one when anything dies. This one is, where's the draw cards when things die? They have a couple that draw cards on death. 
Yeah. Whenever another thing dies, draw a card. Um, they're drawing, and then everything else is just like big beef. They have a lot, like five copies of this card in play, four copies of that card in play. Um, yeah, uh, I have flyers and a bunch of garbage. Um, luckily a bunch of garbage and flyers seems to be beating this opponent. Huh! Negative 13, we got there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, level eight. Nice. I actually wanted level eight pretty badly. That would that's a nice change. All right, Rip Kaz. That was maybe the most complex board state I've had in a, like in this game flat. And we got a Brute Crown Bluff Pack. What do we got? Okay, the Baby Yeti. Wait, this is a different art. There was a Baby Yeti in the tutorial that had, like, a really, like... I remember the art, because I was like, what? Like, me and Kaz were like, what is this art? Uh, but, like, this one's stealing a pumpkin. It was, like, a somewhat complicated Netrunner state. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, uh... That, you're not wrong. Netrunner boards are dumb and look really bad. Oh. Negate. Verdict of the ancient kings. The, 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 these, these six old dudes just are like, no. Uh, Blaze Maw. That's a good sounding name. Oh, hey, it's Ball Lightning. Elemental Spirit, um, it's ball, no trample, 5-1, uh, must attack, sack this. That's cool. And what's our stuff? Carrion Mask gives Carrion Thrasher, which is the card we ha we saw our opponent, uh, play. It's the 4-4 the four four with Crush that gets plus 2, plus 2 on a one-shot when the first thing dies. Yo, it makes it a, a Yeti? Yo, that's a really strong piece of equipment that makes this card, like, much better. Because you get to immediately trigger the plus two, plus two. Like, you just go, okay, your flyer dies, and my thing's a 6-6 six, six with trample. And what's our Spire Gang Spellbook? Okay, well, the card it's altering is a six mana, three, three of flight. Deploy, put target action from your crypt into your hand. You! That's nice. So this is a, um, like a, a, a flying archivist. They're not archivist. Uh, is it archivist? Uh, not, archivist is only instance, I think. Is it Cronarch, maybe? Anyway, or, or a mnemonic wall. But the ability gets deploy, put target action from your crypt in your hand. It gets, you can play this for free this turn. Wow. Archivist is tapped to draw a card. That's nice. That's good stuff. Uh, all hail the queen. Uh, you should probably serve the underworld. Thanks, Vargar. I'll catch you later, Vargar. Cool. Oh, we gotta go to Nagan and let let the the underworld know that we got. This is a robot in the back. Yeah, the moose. Never let the mud dry between your toes. That's a good like just odd saying. I like that for a dwarf, you know. Like that for for that, that, that. I like that. That's 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 good. Anyway, we have a talent point. Um. Yeah, it turned into the blue, into like a snaps there. Alright, so the point I can use either gives me Eye of the Sniper. As an opposing troop enters play, there's a 50% chance it becomes marked. And then below it is uh, what marked does. So what marked does is ranged expertise talents always hit against marked targets. So, like, when I have Overwatch... Uh, Overwatch gives 
a 50% chance against marked targets that 50% becomes 100%. My rocket will always hit against a marked target rather than miss. So being able to mark things is quite strong. Rangers that begin the game... You, I mean, your deck gain basic one shot tap target opposing champion or troop becomes marked. Now, the thing I was thinking about doing is giving myself resourcefulness. Um, resourcefulness is just at the start of your game. Resources gain when this enters your hand, gain one health. Um, so basically my starting life total of 20 is actually more like 25, 26. Um, we also could put the pet treats in our deck. Uh, pet treat puts four pet treats in our deck. Eight if we have enough cards in our deck. Pet treats are zero cost. Target pet gets plus one, plus one, draw a card. Which is pretty good. Like, it's it's just like, because it's free. It's also a trick, a quick action. I like that part of it probably the most. Um, haven't gotten fertile ground. No, I haven't gotten fertile ground yet. Fertile, oh, yeah, let's look, look at fertile ground here. Fertile ground, deploy... Is a zero cost card that uh, gives you a power immediately, and then also you gain an additional resource play on your turn. So it's not only is it a land, it's a colorless land for zero. So it's a mox, colorless mox. It's a colorless mox that is also exploration. So yeah. I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take Pet Treats and then take Fertile Ground off of Pet Treats. The reason I don't have Lay of the Land is because I didn't really want Pet Treats and some of these others, like Spo Spo, was more appealing. How is it free? It, it, it's zero, zero. It doesn't cost a point. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, th I thought you meant the card. The, 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 the talent is free. It's just nothing. Um, still want to go for resourcefulness at some point. I don't actually care about... What the hell's that? Barrier vines. Want better ways to mark things. Oh, God, I don't want that. Starting health plus two. Your mercenaries get starting plus one charge plus two. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, hazardous terrain. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's grab this and grab Lay of the Land. Um, that'll be good. So our deck will be 65 cards now with Spospo and the Pet Treats, but four of them cycle and is strong enough that I'm fine. So we'll go ahead and leave it as that. We'll save Talents. Talents have been saved. I think next up, next level, I'll get Eye of a Sniper, and then at 9 and 10... We'll grab, uh, like, resourcefulness. Or maybe at 9 and 10 we save our points and go grab, like, Flame Breathe Wolverines or try and grab Barrier Vines by going through p every piece of the animal. Maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll plan that out later. So, you know, save talents. Yep. Thank you. Close this window. How far are we in the single player? I have just reached the second map. I don't know how long the actual thing is, if but if that reference works for you. We have just reached map two. So, now map... Actually, if you take a look at this, map one is right here. Like... So, this is the river. I went all the way around and down to avoid, uh, to, to, like, avoid crossing, uh, like, this bridge or something like that. Uh, this is where piranhas are, I believe, was right here. Uh, there's the city of, uh, Cave-In right about here. Uh, there's a manor down here, which burned to the ground. Uh, what other points uh this is where actually maybe it's here i think it's here actually is where um 
I did not take down piranhas. Uh, this is where the, the army of, uh, of, uh, the army is, anyway, let's head back here. Army of Myth, that's the name of it. Alright, so this should be where Takumi is. Oh, another another pack. And, no, oh, good amount of gold and an experience. Alright, let's open the pack. Alright. Abominate. Abominate. Uh, as an additional cost to play it, sack a troop. Target troop gets plus three, plus three. Yeah, alright. I wish it was a quick action, but that's still, like, for for that, that seems fine. Dread Harvest. Put a random wild shard from your deck into your hand when you gain... That's an interesting card. So, it replaces itself. This is a two-cost enchantment constant that replaces itself with a wild shard for my deck. Um, and then when I gain a, a, a wild influence, I summon a dreadling, which is an, a one, one like token that has to attack, which I might have synergy with like abominate where it's like, okay, I just need tokens. Oh, Hey, it's Blazemaw again. I have two of these. Hey bear. How you doing? It's like the only rare in these packs. What's our equipment? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, blazing gloves. Your 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 blaze maws have crush, aka the keyword that I said was missing off of this ball lightning. So now it's a uh, now it's bear lightning. <laughs> so yeah, bear lightning is now real. Oh, legendary stardust. I don't know what that means, but it's legendary. That's cool. All right, let's keep on moving. Uh, we'll do... Actually, we might want to... Maybe we want to... I want to find the city. Let's find the city, and then we'll go ahead and do the Frostfang Arena. That sounds like a fun time. Horrid creature, bark. Yeah, sure. Hopefully the city's not too far off. If it's not within, like, one or two... Like, a couple battles, we'll just move out and do the arena thing. Uh, so, Golgari and two. Each champion, bottom three cards of their deck, into their crypt. When a troop leaves your crypt, gain a health. They must have a recursion going on? Okay. Yeah, the arena may be lengthy. I have no idea what the arena is, so... We'll see. Yeah, let's go first. Oh, this is a nice looking place. We got this little skull fountain. Um, oh! Goodness. Hi. 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 And I guess we'll overwatch. Okay, that's a good turn one. Man, that Overwatch has hit, like, once out of, like, six. Alright. Slam this down. Slam this down. Weird how Mox Explorer is a good card. I don't know who would have seen that coming. Eagle Claw Orb. Basic... So, two, sacrifice this, target troop you control or in your hand gets all powers of this when you play... Oh, it g gains prowess. Okay. I can't play the aerialist because I'm off blue. Reveal the bottom three cards of your deck. Put all revealed resources in your hand remaining in the crypt. That's a good card. Wow! Nice mulch, dude! 
I only wish my mulches were that good. So I could have used that trick to, like, win the fight rather than what I did here, but I wanted to get guaranteed damage in. If my opponent has removal, I guess I'll pay for it with the, with all my life, but what are you? So our troop gets minus three, minus three? Sure. Death Cry, each opposing champion choosing to discard a card. Sure. Come on, off the top. I can't play that. Alright, Robodog. Get in there. Fire the missile. Yeah! Honestly, the biggest thing about that mulch was that it was, uh... <laughs> Overwatch shots taking my 30% penalty accuracy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the city's got to be coming up. Well-maintained bridge. Uh, connects the mouth of the Zodiac River to an island. So it's to the north, right? Like, that's where the... Oh my god, it's these brothers again. You're not going to make me do some horrible tasks across this bridge, are you? I should kill you for wasting my time, but I can't be bothered for that right now. Oh. Some vents for your spiders. Thank you, Anti-Evil. Let's see what we got here. Egg Blight Afflictor. Can't block. Death Cry. Create four spiderling eggs. Put them in. That's, that's a nifty card. Hatchery Priest. Create a Spiderling Egg in each opposing deck. Okay. Good, good, good. This is like eggs.deck. Hatchery Brood Guard. Create six Spiderling Eggs. Yo, okay. I can. I have a lot of blue cards for this. Like, a bunch of them that, that draw a bunch of... So I missed first Hex stream. How many jokes are made about Overwatch? I just got Overwatch on this stream, actually. So... Well, thank you, Anti-Evil. I'll have to mess with that. I have a bunch of blue spider cards, so... Oh, hey, Kaz. We just, we just fought you. Alright. It's your tongue, human. Why would somebody be sent to murder you? Okay, let's fight this dude. Alright, three. Target troop you control gets plus two, plus two. Permanent. Start of your combat, and if you control... Troop you control with four, more gains steadfast. Oh, okay. That seems pretty good. Yeah, the, 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 the eggs are one one unblockables. We had those a little earlier. So, let's go first. Oh, Champions of Armor 1. Uh, yeah, Pet Treat. Yeah, I'll keep this. This is a good curve. Keep hand. I don't think I want to Overwatch on turn 1. I'll Overwatch on 2. Oh, well, it turns out I actually did want to Overwatch on this turn. Fine. Okay, and Jet Cadet, and my buddy, and we'll Overwatch. What's giving the second armor? I start with an armor, just as my class. Oh, alright, whatever, I Overwatched and nothing came of it, that's fine. And let's also Pet Treat. Come on, third land off the top. Oh, you're too kind. Motor truck driver. Because we got the evil right there. 
Everybody in. And exhaust. For my sanity, what is Overwatch? Uh, zero cost ability that has a 50% chance of dealing four damage to any troop they play on the following turn. I'll show it to you. So it, it, it's basically I have a select a turn where I can turn on half of a snipe. And not like half of a snipe in two damage, but like sometimes I have a snipe. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll take that hit. That's only one damage. It's a it's a talent in my my talent tree, so. Jack Cadet, that's good. Uh, let's play the Dust Buzzard. That flies. And then I don't want to attack with the Motor Tyke Driver, but I do want to attack with everything else. I don't have double blue! Uh, that's always a problem with this. I don't have, like, actual dual... Like, well, we'll get there. Sooner or later, I'll find, like, Prism Shards, and I'll feel real good about it. Anyway, with so much armor, I feel pretty good about where we are. Okay, flying, deploy, gain two health. That's fine. It's a 2 2 flyer with the shield cadet there. Uh, let's. Let's get in with the flyers. And then we'll play another jet cadet and pass. Again, yeah, sooner or later, I'll, saw my, I'll, I'll, I'll draw my other. Uh, Okay, another shield trooper. Yep, that's a fine card. Sooner or later, I'll draw another blue source and be able to play these. All right, there we go. You. Everybody in. Then these cost negative six. I should probably play a couple of them, you know. Get my twelve mana back. Then Yurig can come into play. Yurig's my token maker from that big game. Makes war one ones that become three threes that become five fives. What do you do? Uh, I have done something wrong. Okay. Steadfast deploy. You may target troop. Oh. Okay. A little to rebuy a, a a dead creature. That's a nifty card. Well, well, we'll find the Prism Lands or whatever at some point. Alright, cool. This card is being affected by Mechanized Aerialist. Thanks, bud. Yo! We got a bunch of cards. A bunch of cards. And we got... Wait, we got Augustine? Okay, so we got a Ruby... Oh, I'm sweet. I'm really happy to get a new... Ruby Pyromancer. We got Vanguard Go of Gawain. Uh, that's the... Oh, that's a pretty good. That's First Striker 3-2. Staggering Blast. We've seen this. This is the can't block thing. Metal is... Target Troop gets plus one, plus one, Swift Strike for one. Basic. Four Centuries of Gawain. Um... Which are just three twos, that's whatever. Uh, that's awful. This is maybe the most dreadful card I've seen in life. I think I've said this sentence to you before, looking at this. That's bad. That's fine. Three, three, four, crackling blast. Oh! Removal, that's not bad. Yeah, sure. You're in. Let's go, bud. You have just earned yourself a mercenary and a party slot. Mercenaries can, you add to your party can be used in place of your champion in combat. Open the deck builder and add a mercenary to your party. This area, what area? What do you have highlighted right now? Oh, up here, okay. Move them from your party. Or you can slide, okay. What does the mercenary do? That 
I, I clicked on something and everything went to hell. Uh, oh God, the game is hating this. So like, wait, they play in place of me? Do I have to play with the bad deck? I think the gloves that have to give her plus three, plus three. <laughs> So, like, I have a party slot? Like, it's, yeah, it's like a deck slot, I guess? Deck rules, 44433. Okay, so they've got a stronger deck grid than I do, and a different starting life total. Okay. Wait, do they cost this much gold? Do I have to pay them that? Complete a mercenary challenge in a dungeon to earn upgrade marks, earn two marks, and pay the fee to... Okay, so... That's like the fee to upgrade them. Okay, so they've got... Galvanize. At the start of the game, if you won the coin flip, gain a charge. Six power more and crush. Okay. So, like, do I get the party bonus? Oh, God, can I click on myself? Oh, God, I clicked on me, and now the game is frozen again. Like, do I get the party bonus? I can't right-click on me. Well, he won't have the dog. Like, I can't do turn one dog with Augustine because... Okay, so this is like a different deck, I guess. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, if I... Like, this would have to be like an aggressive, like, deck that I'd want... You get the party bonus, he does not. Okay, so there is something I gain from having him around. Uh, let me tell you, a lot of these things that people are, are, are telling me in the chat are really, like... I would not guess them from reading the text I have here. That is not something I would intuit. Okay, so I just have a second deck slot that I can change and have a, a different party leader for it. Okay. Anyway, I think that means I'm out of here. Let me go to the... Oh god, I clicked on my deck again! No! <sighs> okay. Oh, we're up to two! I can play doubles of, uh... Ooh, and I can... I have a... I can play my third bird now. Uh... What's coming out for th third bird? Let's take out cannon volley. I never get up to that mana cost anyway. Uh... Bird. Where's bird at? Where's third bird? Third bird. Get in here. Okay, well, let's close out of this. I'm going to go to the mushroom house. A bump, 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 Put target attacking troop with flight underground. If it does not have tunneling, it gains tunneling three. Okay. Steadfast, you have armor one. Okay. Chimera cat. Okay, that's a good name. Uh, yo! That's a two-mana 3-2 three, two with a random keyword? Yo! I think I'm 
going to take the two mana three two with the keyword here. I was looking at quicksand and I was like, ah, this is good removal, you know? Like, wow, I like having like three turns of removal and stuff, but no, we're, we're taking Chimera Cat. Are we finally at the city? No, we're not. Okay, I'm I'm not moving to the city here. That's that's I'm gonna go ahead and back out and do the thing that I said I was gonna do, which was the Frostfang Arena. So let's go ahead and actually give me a moment here. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna clip this into two different stream well not streams, I'm gonna clip this into two different recordings so that they go uh up separately. So, anyway, this is the, so this right here is going to be the end of just the playing through the campaign. So, we're going to move along to the arena.